Hello, beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. Cody, always here to help you have the most healthy, glowing, and gorgeous skin, regardless of your age, concern, or budget. If you love this info, please subscribe. If you have any questions, ask them below. Okay, super quick video today. I'm going to show you how to make a hydrating mask for the winter. Costs about eight. The ingredients themselves cost eight bucks. You can probably get uh, 50 or more uses out of them. They're all from either Amazon or the drugstore. I'm going to show them to you in a second. It takes one second to make. You can do this as much as you want, regardless of your skin type. So if you're really oily, this should not cause any acne or breakout unless you're like super hardcore sensitive. This will alleviate that irritation from the cold weather. It will act as a humectant, so it will help to trap water in the skin so it doesn't evaporate, which we call transepidermal water loss. Um, it'll just help with irritation and soothing. This is great if you're using Retin-A or benzoyl peroxide or, or some type of active ingredient like a lot of glycolic or you want to soothe your skin after a peel or whatever. There's really no rules and it's great for all skin types and super easy, super affordable. So the first ingredient you need to get is aloe vera gel. I got this from Target. You can get it from Amazon. It doesn't really matter the gel except that it cannot contain any alcohol in here. So make sure it's the gel form without alcohol or without fragrance or without a smell some of them like from Trader Joe's will have like a mint menthol smell no it should be fragrance free so it does have a little fragrance but it's not like a chemical fragrance or like a menthol fragrance so all you need to do is aloe vera into a cup like this or a bowl like this and I use about a teaspoon and then I got this glycerin. I usually get the Now brand, so you can get that at Amazon or whatever. But this one was from Rite Aid, which I was actually quite surprised they had. So if you can see that, it is just regular glycerin. Usually I have you use vegetable glycerin. Either is fine. And what you're going to do is you're just going to add two drops of the glycerin. Glycerin is a little sticky, so if you add too much, then you either need to add more gel or a dash of water. But adding the glycerin, and then I'm just using this brush. It's actually a paint brush that I get on Amazon. I just love it. And you could use your fingers. You don't need to mix it like this. You don't need to be fancy. You could literally pour the aloe in your hand and then mix the glycerin, go like this, and apply it. We're just trying to hydrate you a little bit and how you do so uh, by like mixing it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to sit here and paint it onto my skin. And you can do this every day, twice a day, it doesn't really matter. This will also alleviate a lot of like irritation, sensitivity from Retin-A, benzoyl peroxide, a chemical peel, psoriasis, eczema. It's just really a dirt cheap um, and effective way to hydrate your skin um, all year long, but especially during the winter. So I'm just going to, I'm actually going to apply a little bit more, just like I told you, you don't need to be fancy about it. So I'm just going to apply some into my fingertips like this, the gel, and then just a drop. And then I'm going to mix it together. And then I'm just going to apply it like this. Now the glycerin is amazing. I know I keep talking about it, but girls, I'm telling you, it's so good for you because it's, it's not going to cause breakouts. And it's very effective, it costs so little, and it just, it just works. So if you have like dry skin from just the weather or bathing or whatever, I would recommend that you get out of the shower, leave yourself dripping wet, stand on your little bath towel, and then pour a little bit of glycerin in your hand, mix it with the water on your hands or whatever, and then apply that all over to your body as well, and it's amazing. I'll do that when my skin is feeling off. Actually, I'm probably going to do it tonight because I took a hot bath last night, and I usually uh, moisturize, but I didn't for some reason. I don't know why. I just spaced it, I think. So I'm just going to sit here and continue to gonna massage this in but I could just leave it on if you need more moisture then or more hydration then add more glycerin the more glycerin you add the more sticky it'll become so you need to liquefy it with either the aloe or something else so I hope this helped I know it was a little quickie one today but I just thought I'd share a little quick video to kind of keep you going through the winter uh, if you guys have any other tips I have a lot more winter tips if you guys want them let me know like how to mix like jojoba oil and how to make a cleanser work better that's make turn it into a hydrating cleanser 
Um, I got all kinds of tricks up my sleeve, girl. So just let me know if you guys want more uh, of these tips, and I will definitely be sharing them. I hope that you have a fabulous and wonderful holiday season as much as possible, regardless of the circumstances. Listen to great music, laugh, love, do you, girl. Enjoy the moment as much as possible. This has been a year, but we're going to get through it. Uh, we're almost through it, and let's just all together focus on faith and helping each other out. And I'll see you really soon in a new video. I love you so much. And remember to stay gorgeous.